In 2025, the cumulative fines for GDPR has exceeded $5 billion, with individual fines reaching the hundreds of millions of dollars. With increasing regulation like GDPR and CCPA, WordPress websites are now more vulnerable than ever to all kinds of fines. Managing cookie consent and privacy law compliance has become a nightmare for WordPress websites. Complex and ever-changing regulations, expensive solutions, and constant policy changes leave your website exposed to risks. Not to mention the clunky cookie consent banners that have a poor conversion rate and drive visitors away. Thankfully, all of that ends today. Introducing WP Consent, the all-in-one privacy compliance and cookie management solution built just for WordPress. And I know, I know what you might be thinking. Another cookie consent plugin. Don't we have hundreds of them out there already? And you might have one installed on your website already. And yes, these are the actual questions that the talented folks at WP Beginner who made this plugin thought about before they decided to make this plugin. Now, there are a lot of different challenges when it comes to cookie consent or banner plugins. One of the biggest ones being that many of these plugins don't actually work technically how they should if they have to be compliant with GDPR and CCPA and other regulations. Basically, the biggest important thing about any cookie consent plugin is that it should block any cookies from being set before users gives consent. And a lot of these banner plugins just basically give an option to click allow and be done with it and cookies are already set. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to actually go and see that because I'm going to demonstrate WP Consent to you so that you can identify if the Cookie Consent banner plugin on your website is working or not. Now, if your website plugin works the way it should work, as I'm going to demonstrate, then yeah, great, good for you. You don't have to worry about being compliant. But if your plugin doesn't work, then you can definitely check out WP Consent. But there's some other challenges as well when it comes to any other Cookie Consent plugins. One of the most important being a technical setup process. If you need the skills of a developer or the mind of a lawyer to configure Cookie Consent plugins, then they're not probably doing it right. That's where WP Consent completely does it differently. Let me demonstrate. So this is WP Consent on my website right now. And what you can see here that website scan is part of the installation process. I'm going to share some footage right here. When you install WP Consent, it automatically helps you configure how your website consent or how your website's policy or scanning process should be like. And in the same process, it does a scan for all the cookies present on your site. And you can see here the website scan on my website is actually complete. Now, you can also configure this to be done automatically at any frequency. So if I go into the settings here, we can see that WP Consent allows us to have frequent scans. So if you add more cookies, add more services, add more third-party stuff to your website, then the scanning that I just demonstrated can be done automatically as well. So you can see here that the scan interval, I have enabled auto-scanning and is set to week. Now I created this website a couple of weeks ago. And if you go here back to dashboard for WP Consent, you will see that the, at the date of this recording, I'm recording this on 19th of March, but the cookie scan already was done yesterday. So I don't have to worry about always keeping manual checks on, hey, if my website is compliant. And by the way, if we go here on scan our website, if you click this button, then we can run the scan manually as well. And if you go here on the full report, which will basically take us to the scanner here inside the menu, we can see completely all the different services that were detected. And WP Consent allows us to automatically configure these settings. And the team at WP Consent keeps updating the list of services and how they should be compliant with. So you as a, let's say, website owner, doesn't have to become an expert in regulation, how individual plugins should work, or even have to technically set this up. Let me demonstrate once again by going to the screen. So you can see here on my website scan, which was done automatically, by the way, cookies were configured. Next schedule scan is for next week, because that's how I configured it. Cookies in use are already showing 23, and services detected 25, or sorry, just the five. And if I go here, you can see it has completely categorized the kind of cookies that are present on my website. So of course I'm using WordPress. So you can see that the login or how you log into your website, cookies are being used, but those are essential cookies and they don't have to be let's say, restricted even if the users does not provide any consent for marketing things. So login cookies, you can see here, these are the cookies that uh, WordPress or WP Consent has detected. Comments also requires cookies because if you enter email and next time you actually come to the site, your comments show up that, hey, this is your comment. And of course, I also, as demonstration, install WooCommerce and WooCommerce also uses some cookies. By the way, if you add something to your cart, go to the next page, cookies are required for WooCommerce to keep track that, hey, this user added this to cart. So it's also an essential part of the functionality of the website. But it also detected that I'm using the Facebook pixel or the MetaPixel, how you like to call it, on the website. And that's already automatically categorized as a marketing pixel. So if a user says that, hey, I don't provide consent for marketing cookies, then this Facebook pixel will not be loaded on your site. This is the most important part. And I'm going to demonstrate how this works. 
So you can see the Facebook pixel is also detected and also WooCommerce Source Buster, which is uh, I think a attribution based cookie is also being detected. So all of these are automatically detected, automatically categorized. And if I want to have, let's say, uh, configure them automatically, if I just, let's say, figure out new plugins or new uh, cookies were detected, all I have to do is just click this button, automatically configure cookies. And yes, and in just a couple of seconds, all the services that were detected will automatically be categorized and cookie rules for them will automatically be set. So you don't have to worry about the technical aspects of how this will work, how to make sure that the cookies are not set or what services are being used on the website. WP Consent takes care of everything. And this is another important reason why WP Consent is a game changer and should be considered for your website. The other important reason is related to pricing. Now, when it comes to WordPress, you know how the deal goes. Either there are free plugins available, which don't guarantee any service. And there are some plugins that you can buy one time purchase from some random website and they don't get regular updates and privacy law always keeps changing. So you have to ensure that all your plugins are compliant with privacy law and WP Consent doesn't have that problem. The third extreme is where a lot of SaaS companies come into play. Now, challenge with a lot of these software as a service solutions that their pricing are based on page views. So it's like an invisible tax on your website. The more successful you become, the more traffic you drive to your website, the more eventually you have to pay to stay, stay compliant. And one of the challenge with SaaS companies, you're using SaaS companies as cookie consent or I'd say uh, privacy law compliance is that a lot of times they will actually save the consent data on their servers, which might be a privacy issue in itself. So WP Consent solves this in two different ways. First of all, the pricing is not at all based on the number of page views. By the way, WP Consent has a completely free version as well, which is also GDPR compliant. I'll place the link of that plugin, the word from the WordPress repository in the description. But if you want more control and more powerful features, you can definitely go for the pro version. And even if you opt for the pro version, the price is very affordable and there's no cap based on page views. So it doesn't matter how many page views you get, you're always charged the same amount what you pay. Your license doesn't change. So that's one big change with WP Consent as well. And as I was mentioning about consent logs, WP Consent saves all the consent data on your website. Now, depending on the regulations that you might comply with, this might be optional. But to stay safe, you can enable this feature where WP Consent saves all the consent data, but it's all locally stored on your server. Let me demonstrate. So inside WP Consent's menu entry here, you can see the last option is consent logs. Now, this is a fair new, new website, so you won't see too many entries here. But the important thing is that all of this information that you see here, that user guest from this, this was me from India, this IP address, consent details, what they accepted, what they did not accept, all is saved on your server, which makes it completely compliant. So no data about users is leaving your website. That's one important thing with WP Consent as well. So now time to demonstrate how WP Consent works in action. Of course, you can replicate this on your website or the process on your website to understand and see if your cookie consent plugin solution, whatever you use actually works. Let me demonstrate. So what I've done right now is open my website up in incognito window so that I can get the cookie banner, which you see here. Now, what you can do to replicate the same process to identify if this works on a site is pretty simple. I'm using the Chrome browser, but it works with every browser. You have to open the console of the browser. Now on Windows on uh, Windows on Chrome, uh, the F12 key works, or you can right click and you can see the inspect option shows up here. Just click inspect and this weird looking thing will open up. Now you don't have to look at this code here. All you have to do is go to the application area, application here. And inside application, you'll see local storage, session storage, and most importantly, you'll see cookies. Now, if I click here, you'll see no cookies are set at the moment because the banner is waiting for you to provide consent if this is all right to save cookie consent. So now the important part is here, I can have or go into preferences, reject or accept. So as a user, they can accept cookies. That means all kinds of cookies will be accepted on your site and they can also reject cookies. Now if they reject cookies, all the marketing and non-essential cookies should not be loaded. So it's important. So first what I'll do is I'll reject the cookies and in a couple seconds, you'll see cookies will be set on site. But the important part is WP Consent preferences. This is the cookie that WP Consent sets. And you can see essential cookies are true. Statistics, statistics or even say analyticals is, is false and marketing is false as well. So no other cookies, uh, no Facebook pixel, no analytical data is actually set on the website. This is how compliance should be done. Unless the user provides consent, no cookies should be set. So if you see any kind of other cookies being set when incognito or you're in an incognito window, then your plugin is probably not compliant. Now let's re repeat the process with uh, the same thing again. I'll open it again in incognito and I'll accept so I can show you that how cookies are set. So I open the website once again in incognito and this time I'm gonna click accept and see how the difference is when cookies are being set. Let's click accept. And now you can see that as I clicked accept, WP Consent cookies were set, that is essential true, statistics true, marketing 
also true. So as soon as the marketing uh, or I accepted the marketing pixels could be set, which is the Facebook pixel also set a cookie. So now the, when the consent is actually received from the user, only then this cookie is set. And if you want to go granular, then you can just go back to the website and go to the scanner option here. And you can actually see the cookies that are set. So if I go here and if I show you view cookies, you can see these are the cookies that were set. So FBC cookie was the cookie that was set. So this is how to be compliant. And by the way, if you're concerned about how the banner looks, let me also tell you about the customization feature, which is the easiest thing in the world to do. So if you go to the banner design option here, you can completely customize the language, the colors, everything else, or I'd say everything about the banner. First of all, you can have long banners. And if you scroll here, you can see here, this is how the long banner looks like. You have a floating banner. You also have a modal banner. So it's like a pop-up on the screen. I prefer the floating banners. They look much better in my opinion. And then you have four options, where to set the uh, actual consent banner. So right bottom is usually where I like it. But if you want to change the styles and the colors, then you just go to the style option here. And inside the style option, you can see, hey, what should the background color be? What's the text color should be? What's the font size? The button size, button uh, or rounded corners of buttons, yes. Button types filled or outlines. And then what kind of background colors? So if you have, you want to make the accept color or accept button color, anything except yellow. Example, I'd like to keep it slightly red. Then I can make it red. And if I want to cancel or I'd say I don't want to set cookies, and I'll make this, oh, sorry, I would just change this to green because accept. And then I will change this to, let's say, slightly red color for reject. And I can change the font color as well. So everything I want to do customize here is basically drag and drop, not in drag and drop, just click and change the settings. Let's save this. And I can also change the content, by the way, the language that the banner use. So if I go here, you can see the language on the screen, you can just completely customize it. So what should be the message like? So if you see here, the message was this, this default message, you have the rich editor here, so you can bold things, uh, attack, uh, like add anything you like. And also the buttons can be moved around. So if you want to say, hey, the accept button should be the second one, the preferences button should be the second one, and the reject button should be the last one. You can also upload your logo here as well. So all these things can be completely customized. And once you save it, you also have the option of previewing it instead of having to go back and forth on your site, opening up an incognito. So if I click the preview button here, you can see this is how it looks like. Now, of course, I can see the reject button looks really bad because the font color doesn't match. So I can just go back and I'll just make the reject button uh, font color white here, something like this. And if I save and continue, then it should instantly reflect how this thing works. So now we have a completely customized banner. If I want to change the background color, I can just go here and let's say I want to change the background color to something more that is my brand style. So I just change the U to something like this. Let's say this is my brand color. And now I have a completely customized cookie consent banner that actually works on my website. So that's the power of WP consent on your website, how it works and what are the benefits of using WP consent. So how do you check out WP consent? Go to wpconsent.com. I'll leave the uh, link on the screen and also in the description. And if your cookie consent banner actually didn't work, then let me know in the comments as well. And definitely check out WP consent for your privacy and compliance needs on WordPress. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.